Hi there, this is going to be your message for today. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Thank you for that. Let's have a look. Okay, they want me to go into these cards. Okay, messages for today, please. Okay, let's have a look, spirit, please, for this. Okay, show me, please. Okay, so there's a tipping point here. Okay, this is the altar. Okay, this is essentially what spirit is getting us to a place of peace, right? There is an issue here with a, a bit of an, a lack of patience with a, an adversity going on that people don't want to acknowledge. But there is a bit of a timeline split and or people are a bit indecisive about situations here. There is a definite split in people's psyches or viewpoints right now between letting it go and actually slipping into a peaceful existence versus trusting the process. So it's like people don't want to trust the process unless it's wrong. There's a fear of being wrong here. There's a fear of being wrong. And a fear of something bad happening as well. Um a fear of being wrong and a fear of something bad happening. You're going to have to really rock watch that viewpoint. That's, again, if you haven't watched yesterday's message. But it's like this energy is moving away from almost that energy into something new. But someone, it's like people are fighting peace. People are fighting peace. Okay. Okay, what can you tell me here? We've got Isis. Magic manifesting your dreams, visions and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So this goes back to the message yesterday. What you think you become. But you need to be careful what you guys are projecting into your external reality. Because if you're undecided and you're still in this grip, gripping fear energy, you're blocking your own manifestations a little bit here. But you're going to have to trust that this mindset or way of being is going to birth something. Because we've also got Joelle uh, Cull, and I apologise if I've mispronounced that incorrectly. It says Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness so it's like i think people are trying this theory out and they're like why is this not working why why is this you know i'm following everything so why isn't it working it take this is a lifetime it's like these are old habits and patterns that people have used over lifetimes either through generational ancestral lineages where there's patterns repeating it is not rome was not built in a day you're not going to suddenly a day after hearing a message or implementing a new lifestyle going to have a brand new you know existence this doesn't work like that the adversity is almost a test because it's like okay do you trust this path do you trust so it's like you may get to a point where your other people are, are implementing this and then their path is easier and then you're getting deterred because of that that's just not your path that's not your path. You all ca you you came here to have a totally unique experience. You are one element or one fragment of a consciousness. You don't need to sit and align yourself with Bill up the road, because Bill up the road is 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 a, a freaking you know maverick, and he's he's gonna he's hardcore and he's gonna do this. You guys are gonna have to um, trust here, trust and believe that the old ways of doing things are not going to help you because 
it's not going to create peace in your your existence and actually if anything it's going to just deter you and you're again remember the last couple of messages where i talked about this loop of going backwards you guys are birthing something new okay you you honestly think that an imprint of a child's birth is going to be pleasant like we're going through a rebirth it's not meant it's not going to be that pleasant unless we ex you know expect it to be unpleasant you know um you guys have to understand that for this for whoever this resonates with that your mindset is is a sometimes a limiting situation within these environments right and that the more you're expecting something bad to happen sometimes that is going to present in that way bottom of the deck is krishna devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally this is about understanding how love works this is about an understanding of a higher vibration of energy that has been holding you back. You, you, this energy we're in, we're shedding masses of layers through multi-generations of, of energies where we can hit a higher vibration, but people's mindsets have to still shift. Like we've gone through a lot in the last four years as a collective, right? Two years, three years, however long this C word thing has been going on for, right? So we have to understand that there's a process to that. And it doesn't happen in a day. The adversity keeps happening, especially if you're shifting from 3D to 5D. It's, the 4D is going to be a, a polarization of the, of the two dimensional realities. Once you're getting into 5D, it is going to become a lot more easier. But you have to process everything that needs to be done first, right? Well, it doesn't work like that otherwise. Let me read from the... They told me to bring the book out. I'm going to bring the book out. You're moving, this is about Isis manage, magic manifesting. You're moving into a space where your dream reality is becoming your outward reality. So it's confirming the messages before. This is an extremely powerful time and it's vital to keep focused on the highest good of all. You no longer want to relive your own history and or feel unsupported. Acknowledging where you once were and how you've changed that situation around is a powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with universal abundance. Discipline and commitment are important now. Consider that you are moving between worlds when you daydream or create visions and bring life enhancing ideas into reality. Magic is manifesting all around you. This is exciting. This is meant to be exciting here. So, and let's go to Dwal Cole. I apologise if I've butchered that name. When Dwal Cole appeals in a reading, he reminds you that your path is unfolding as it should. Take one step at a time and remember that your only spiritual function is to be happy. You are a powerful person with many lessons under your belt and a real capacity to share your wisdom with the world. Take the time to go over whatever you have learnt recently and recognise the strengths it has brought you and acknowledge where you've been courageous. Dole Cool is now working with your angel guides to help your journey unfold like a beautiful lotus flower, one petal at a time. And then Krishna. I'm reading from the book because I feel like it's going to be important. They're telling me to read from the book. You have a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that's coming through. Your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognised. It may feel as though you've been in a mental or emotional battlefield, but there are sweet messages of hope around you now. Krishna is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and encourage you to act from your soul. If a decision needs to be made, ask yourself what will honour your soul and those around you. If you can choose your best for all involved, then you will feel even closer to the divine. So this is about bringing you into an alignment. Okay. Uh, I want to go to these cards here. Spirit. Someone doesn't believe. Yeah, look. We've got remain positive in the reverse. Look for a sign in the reverse. And be assertive in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to forgive. And someone doesn't believe. And that is going to be a bit of a, a tricky one to overcome if you're trying to get into this energy. Um, let me get a message for that. They're saying stop.
We all have to start somewhere. We all have to start somewhere. Okay, so there's a, a mindset that's been built on an old pattern or conditioning because it's served as a safety blanket and or a, 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 a safety net because it meant it, there was a false sense of security that was built from that and it's not serving you, which is why there's these fears and these kind of closed-minded menta mentalities that are being produced because it served a purpose because of the way you observe people around you as well as you've grown up but actually your your purest form is that of this kind of energy but it's like going back to that means you have to relive old childhood wounds and some people aren't prepared to do that which is why they don't want to see anything for what it is and they're too scared to acknowledge that this is the you know reality so there's a lot of energy here that doesn't want to hit or tap into their inner child because it means there's an old wound that has to be revealed and they don't want to deal with that which is why that if you're coming into this energy and you don't do your shadow work, this next season is going to be harder for you. You're going to have to really tap into this. Okay, what else, please? What else, please, Spirit? So if you've... OK, this is the scenario I'm getting is is oh, this is about ancestral lineage, right? You as a child were born in a pure energy. And of course, even if you were born into some kind of turmoil, the, the child's essence nine times out of ten would be very pure. Right. As we've got older, our reality has kind of talked us out of our natural state of being by mask we're wearing, fitting into sort of society, stuff like that. And we've had to fit in because it was like survival of the fittest. Our, our kind of the way that we are brought up is tribes mentality, isn't it? It's like we all have to fit in and, and stuff like that. And so the majority of people built a lot of false identity around them because it was a way of being accepted into a family or being accepted into a peer group or something like that. And at the moment, that mask or that reality is, is being threatened and people don't want to release that because it means they have to go back to the timeline when that mask was put up. And because there's wounds around that energy, people don't want to go back into that energy because it means they have to then do the healing work. So what you're getting is a lot of very, this is for people who are going through karmic situations. You're getting a lot of very unhealed people projecting a lot of things because they don't want to go back into that timeline. I love you, Baba. I'm, my dad's trying to get my attention. Um, his, his photos are up here. So I just keep looking at my dad. Um, people don't want to go back into um, those timelines because they're, they're not, they don't think they're equipped to go into that. But you are. And it's asking you to do that because otherwise what will happen is this will play. I mean, this is kind of playing out a little bit. So, you know, it's like release this, go back into that timeline and understand that the first point in time when you had to put that protective layer on that mask on to try and fit in around you and understand what was going on in that your reality at that time, because that's going to be your key to releasing this shadow element, integrating your light side and moving in to the next stage, okay? Which bottom of the deck will be creating your success? And as you can see, we've got the Black Panther here, which is about protection. So this is about dropping that, because again, the mask is for protection, right? So you guys, when you're releasing that, it's easier to move through this if you're not in that. Because if you're in a defensive energy, you're going to attract defensive energy. It's the way it goes. Underneath that is love. This is what this is about. This is all people's wounds coming up. And we're in this this kind of mixer, this, this kind of long, you know, mixed up mess of energy that hasn't yet been healed, which is why this energy needs to be looked at. So go back to the point of time when you first had to put that mask on, go to that point in your life when that had to happen. Think of specific examples, what was going on around you at that time and heal that problem. And then keep going all the way back until childhood, like your baby years, you know. If you can do that now, it's going to really help you. 
So, for example, when were you needing to be accepted? When were you needing to kind of shift or change who you were? You know, if you if that started at school, start from there. If it then continued, like, for age three, again, go into that energy, sit in that energy, bring up that experience as an adult. And if you don't want to do that, go to a therapist and ask them to help and support you with inner child wounds, you know, and it will really help you this next season. We've got focus because think about it. It's like if you're wearing a mask, that will be the prime concern of people because it's, it's like any inauthentic energy is being tested right now is how I want to say it. And if there's a mask that's being presented with this focus card, people are going to sort of fixate on that and you're not going to quite understand why. It's because that people can sense inauthenticity. So just be aware that if there's certain scenarios where there's, you know, people, are, you're coming up against different situations, are you being authentic? And if you're not, why not? Okay, let's get one more card before we close this part out. Anything else, please? Anything else? Because that's going to lead you into why you're here, your purpose. If you don't know why you're here, this is going to help you bottom of the deck to lead you to happiness it starts with you okay but you have to acknowledge this part as well okay that that's going to be super important let's get one more anything else please anything else okay and if you don't understand this just pause and try and work out what this message is stand still and then release okay so don't you know you may you click on this and think yeah just hold pause a little bit you'll understand it if you kind of observe it a bit more remain as flexible as you can okay because it will really help it'll really help the situation and i'm going to get one more of these cards as well one more please for this message yeah Mavatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. They want me to go to the book. I don't proclaim to know everything, but this, this, this Lily Moses and Carl Gray, this is the Keepers of the Light. I really do like this deck. soul expansion you may feel that you've retreated from the world recently maybe you've not been as active socially or spiritually but this time of inner rest has really paid off you're becoming more and more consciously aware of how connected you are to god and all living things this sense of union is called yoga yoga goes beyond physical ability and into a sense of awareness that's created through spiritual practice meditation and devotion to the divine i feel like getting i feel like crying reading this Mavatar Babaji is the yogic father, is here to inspire that fire of union within you so you can understand how your thoughts and actions are creating the waves of energy that form your life. So this means great incarnation or avatar and sacred father. Okay, so he's a master yogi. He was introduced to the world through Indian yogi. Um, this is a separate yogi that was well known. He's said to be over 2,000 years old and able to travel between Earth and the outer worlds. He is said to have had an invisible temple in the Himalayas that can appear to those he wants to connect with. Many believe that he is like Christ himself, bringing deep love, acceptance, forgiveness, insight and direction. Sorry to put my hand over your face, but I'm going to try and connect with you if I'm allowed to. They're set, okay, so it's, feel the peace within you. If you want peace in your external environment, feel it within you first. It's got to start with the self. Okay? Hopefully that helps. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Until next time, take care.